You can line the backplate for our AIO up with the holes in the back of the motherboard. Our AIO comes with more than one backplate. This one says Cooler Master 1700. Because we've got an LJ 1700 socket, this is the one we need to use. Next, you want to find the bag that comes with the AIO, sign four Intel screws. And then we just need to screw one of these on to each corner. We're now ready to start work on our AIO, so we can set the fans onto the radiator. Next, we can secure the fans to the radiator using the long radiator screws. Next, we need to put the brackets onto our pump, so it's the Intel brackets and the four bracket screws that we need. So what we need to do is set our bracket into the pump and then secure it with two screws. Same thing with the other bracket. I want to run you through connecting everything up while we've got the I.O. on the table. So coming from each of our fans, we've got two connectors. We've got a standard four pin PWM connector and we've got a three pin five volt ARGB connector. So we'll deal with the PWM connectors first of all. Cooler Master include a double fan splitter cable so we can plug each of these into the splitter cable. So we've now got a single four pin PWM fan connector which we're going to plug into our CPU fan header. Next we've got our two three pin five volt ARGB connectors and Cooler Master include a triple ARGB splitter cable. So we can plug these into the splitter cable. And one of the nice things Cooler Master do, it's really easy for these to become disconnected. So Cooler Master include this little plastic cap that you can push over the top of the connection and that's just going to prevent the cables becoming disconnected. So we'll put one on our other joint as well. You'll notice we've got one spare connector on our triple ARGB splitter cable and that's for the cable coming from our pump. So coming from our pump we've got another 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connector and we've also got a 4 pin PWM connector. The 4 pin PWM connector is going to go into our pump header on the motherboard but we're going to plug this connector into the triple splitter cable and then we can put our other little bit of plastic on to prevent this cable coming loose. Now if your motherboard has a 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connector all you need to do is plug this end into it and it's going to be able to control the ARGB effects on the fans and also the pump. Now the other option that Cooler Master do give you if your motherboard doesn't have an ARGB connector or you prefer to use Cooler Master's Master Plus software to control the lighting they include a hub. So the hub has three ARGB connectors so we're just going to plug into channel number one. Then on the other side we have two cables to plug in. One is labelled power so we'll plug this cable into it. On the other end we've got a SATA connector which is going to power the hub by connecting up to a SATA cable from our power supply. On the other end we've got a cable labelled USB. We can plug into here. And then we've got a standard USB connector which is going to plug into one of the USB 2.0 headers on our motherboard. And then we're going to be able to use Cooler Master's Master Plus software to control all the lighting. You then need to line the radiator up with where you're going to install it in the case. Our case has a removable top. We can then set our top back on and secure it into place with the short radiator screws. Then we can reattach the top panel to the case and secure it into place with the two screws we removed earlier on. I'm just going to pass all the cables coming from our fans through to the back of the case. I brought our double fan splitter cable back through. I'm going to plug it into our CPU fan header, which is right here at the top right hand side of the motherboard. And then push the excess cable through to the back. Next I'm going to add some thermal paste to the CPU. Cooler Master include this with the cooler. Here are our cooler to the motherboard. We're going to need the bag labelled four nuts. Before we install our cooler, we need to remove the plastic protection from the back. Then we can lower our cooler down into place and secure it each corner with one of the nuts. Our Cooler Master logo has moved slightly during the installation. You'll see it's not straight. We can simply twist it round to straighten it up. Next we've got the two wires coming from our I.O. so I'm just going to root them underneath the bracket keeping them out of the way. The PWM cable coming from our pump is going to go into the header just to the right of our CPU fan header, that's our pump header. And then we can tuck the excess cable through to the back. 
And as well, I'm just going to pass our ARGB cable through to the back as well. At the back, I'm just going to reattach our pump's ARGB connector into our triple splitter cable. And as I mentioned, we're absolutely spoilt for where we can plug this into. Killer Master has given us loads of choices. So you can plug it directly into your motherboard because our motherboard has three ARGB connectors. We can plug it into our ARGB hub, and then because we've already plugged a cable from this into our motherboard, we're going to be able to control it with our motherboard software or with the buttons on the front of the case. And the third option then we have is to use this included hub and use the Master Plus software. So I'm going to go for the Master Plus software option for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it back into channel number one. Now one of the nice things about this hub is it is metallic, so we can just set it onto the back of the case here and it will stick nicely. We're going to need to power our hub, so I'm going to plug the SATA cable into the SATA cable coming from our power supply. And then the only other connector we have to plug in is the USB connector. Unfortunately, our motherboard has two, so we'll pass that through to the front. And then we can plug into the other USB 2.0 header at the bottom of the motherboard. Okay, so we can download the Cooler Master Master Plus software, open the file, click yes, okay, next, 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 install. We're gonna to need to restart our computer, so I'm gonna do this now. Okay, so we can click on the Master Plus, and let's find a new update for our fan hub, so I'm gonna click on install, and then we'll click on connect, and program. Okay, we can close this down, and click on OK. OK, that's the Master Plus software loaded up and it's picked up our two components we have plugged in via USB. We've got our controller and we've also got our power supply. So we'll start off with the controller, which is where our AIO is plugged into. At the moment, that is set to Rainbow. And we've got a whole list of effects over here that we can go for. So let's go for breathing, for example. And you'll notice that as I click on that, the lighting on the pump and the fans and the AIO have changed to breathing. Again, I just want to set it to static white, so I'm gonna click on static. I'm gonna select the white. And we've now got white on the fans at the top and also the AIO.